friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. Now I have a massive, and when I say massive, I mean massive grocery haul for you. It's been almost two months since I did my Costco shopping. So we are out of a lot of our go-to items and there are some great things on coupon at Costco. I needed to pick up Diesel's medication and of course stock up for Super Bowl Sunday as we are having a few friends over. So I have a huge grocery haul for you from Walmart, Trader Joe's, and Costco. So if you're excited for this massive grocery haul, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely be honored to have you. Just hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified whenever I upload. It's grocery haul day every Saturday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. I just launched my meal planner that I am so incredibly excited about. A lot of you have ordered it and reached out and said how excited you are as well. So make sure that you pick one up at the introductory price. You can find this on my nutrition coaching website. I'll make sure I link that down below. Definitely get the meal planner while it's at the introductory price. And you can check out my nutrition coaching as well. My 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. And of course, a must have is personalized macro and calorie calculation. Whether you're on WW or not, you have to know where you should be calorie and macro wise. So I can definitely figure that for you. So check that out down in the description box. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to my other favorite things and my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. So definitely check out the description box before you go. We have a grocery haul to do and it's huge. So let's jump in. Welcome to a massive, and I mean massive, grocery haul. This week was my stock up week. I went to Walmart, Trader Joe's, and of course, Costco. I found some great new finds, really, really great deals. So I'm really excited to share this week's grocery haul with you. Keep in mind that a lot of this stuff will last me at least a month, a month and a half from Costco. And I did pick up some items for Super Bowl Sunday. So I'll share those with you guys as well. We're doing appetizers and making it pretty simple, but I found some really fun things for the Super Bowl. So let's jump in to my massive grocery haul. These Archer Minis grass-fed beef sticks are currently on sale at Costco for $11.99. You get 28 sticks, they're zero sugar, four grams of protein per stick and only 50 calories. I actually picked these up for Troy. He's really been liking having meat sticks in his lunch and since these were on sale, I thought we would give them a try. He also asked for apples and so these organic apple pre-slices are really convenient. They're individually packed. There's eight packs in the bag here. They are organic, which apples are on the dirty dozen so I definitely like to pick those up organic and they'll be great to throw into his lunch for this next week. I needed unsweetened coconut flakes for a recipe and I do like to have these on hand for acai bowls or smoothie bowls or even to top my oatmeal. A 24 pack of Diet Coke for Troy. No explanation needed. Also not shown because it wouldn't fit is a case of Coors Light. Also for Troy, also explanation not needed. The 99% extra lean ground turkey was on sale for $3.58, which is a really good price. It was about a dollar less per pound than the one I normally get, which is the Simply Raised. So I ended up picking up two packs. Of course, I'll just throw the extra pack in my freezer, but I'm completely out of the 99% ground turkey breast. For Super Bowl Sunday, I picked up this cake. This is so cute. It was $7 at Walmart, white cake, white frosting. As you know, or may not know, my husband doesn't eat chocolate and I wanted him to be able to have some dessert on Super Bowl, but it has the cute Super Bowl decorations on it and you can't beat it for $7. 50% less sugar craisins. This is also for a meal prep recipe. I will be sharing my meal prep and meal plan at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. A new flavor of creamer. Look at that new glazed donut. Yes, please. It only came in the small one, so I had to pick it up to give it a try. It's the normal 35 calories or two smart points per tablespoon. I've also heard time and time again about these Trader Joe's hash browns. They're really easy just to pop in your air fryer and they are a dupe for the McDonald's ones and they are 120 calories per hash brown and they're actually a pretty good size. So I picked those up. I also needed dates for a recipe. Now there is a great date controversy on whether or not you track dates as points. I personally do not. 
I do not track any dried fruit if it does not have added sugar in it as points. So I would count these pitted dates as zero points. I will put on the screen here what the WW app says though for points so you can track them however works for you. Fully cooked bacon also for a recipe. And then at Costco, I picked a big pack up of the organic chicken tenderloins. You can't beat the price for fresh chicken at Costco. Speaking of Costco, if you haven't seen my all things Costco video, I'll link it down below for you. I go into detail of all of the WW friendly things at Costco and their chicken was one of those items. At Walmart, I picked up this Cracker Barrel 48 Cracker Cut variety pack. Part of Super Bowl Sunday is a meat, cheese, and cracker tray at the request of my husband. So this has pepper jack, cheddar jack, Asiago, and extra sharp cheddar, pre-cut, ready to go. Definitely makes my life easier. Big bag of mozzarella string cheese, 48 cheese sticks for $11 at Costco. Can't beat that price. I've actually never heard of the Polio brand, but Troy takes two cheese sticks in his lunch every single day. Also for Super Bowl, the Italian dry salami rounds. This again, makes my life easy. And these are actually really, really good. They're not too bad point-wise either, and they're a great way to get in some extra protein. And also for protein, I love having Canadian bacon. Unfortunately, my husband seems to really enjoy it also because he ate most of the other pack I picked up at Costco, which is just fine. So I picked this one up. It's less than $10, and there's two big packs of Canadian bacon. Some Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Original Barbecue Sauce. We are doing little Smokies on Super Bowl as well, and I thought we could save calories with the sugar-free sauce. I don't think anybody's going to notice. So I picked that up at Walmart. Also at Walmart, the big bottle of Synergy Kombucha. I ordered from Imperfect Foods, so I have quite a few cans of the Better Booch. So I didn't need a whole lot for the week. And this bottle is actually three servings or three bottles worth. So I went ahead and just picked up the big bottle. It's less than $7 at Walmart. It is the equivalent of three 16 ounce bottles, and that would be $9. So it's a couple dollars savings. And then for Super Bowl, my friend Jamie and I love Moscato. So at Costco, I have this recipe. Sada Moscato. This is really delicious and it's $9 for the big bottle. The Larissa's Kitchen Original Beef Jerky was on coupon. This is organic, which makes me really happy. And so I picked this up too, just in case Troy doesn't like those mini sticks. I thought he would for sure dig the beef jerky. And again, it's a low calorie, low point way to get in your protein. So highly recommend jerky and meat sticks. Just watch your calories versus protein content. Here's the little Smokies. The big pack was a much better deal than buying two small packs. So I have the beef little Smokies. I always have to get the the full beef ones. So this will be great to throw in the crock pot or on the stove with that Sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce. Raw sliced almonds for a recipe. And I also like to really put these on my salads, on my oatmeal bowls, even on smoothie bowls or acai bowls. Again, no surprise to anyone that while I was at Costco, I picked up another La Terrafina spinach artichoke and Parmesan dip. I've seen a few comments about this being more points. So I'm going to put the points on the screen here for what it figures in the calculator versus the scanner. Sometimes the scanner isn't accurate. So always enter the nutritional information into the calculator to really truly get the most accurate points value. So I will put that here on the screen, but we love this dip. We absolutely, both of us love it. I also just did a Thrive order and of course added my favorite sparkling water, the Ourobora. Thrive does not carry the basil berry. So while I was at Walmart, I went ahead and picked up two cans of the basil berry because I just love Ourobora waters in general, but Thrive has all the flavors and is a better price if you're part of the Thrive market. If you're not, I'll make sure to leave Thrive down below with 25% off and a free gift when you join. They do offer monthly and yearly memberships. That's a canned goods. Also for Super Bowl, I'm going to be making a seven layer dip, WW friendly style. And I thought that sounds amazing for Super Bowl. So I picked up two cans of sliced black olives. I also needed some diced tomatoes for a recipe. And then this is a big can of the fat-free refried bean. I was completely out of time, so I picked that up. And then of course, two cans of no salt added green beans for Diesel and Lola. They get this instead of table scraps every time we have a meal, so I picked up two more cans. On sale at Costco, batteries. So this was $13.99, and we are almost completely out of double A, so that's a fan, fantastic deal. Under the batteries is this big 18 fresh pack of Ritz crackers for Super Bowl, and this is the only cracker my husband will eat. And as you know, 
know he's been on a meat, cheese, and cracker kick for quite a while, and you just can't beat this for less than $9 at Costco. No grocery trip goes without treats for Diesel and Lola, and they got the mother load this time around. These Shameless Pets Lobster Roll Over flavor, I buy these off of Grove, and for a teeny tiny bag, it's $8. Now, I buy them because, number one, they're made in the USA. They're all natural. They are free from grain, corn, soy, and artificial flavors, and they don't have any chicken, which my dogs can't have chicken. The lobster one I really like because it's for skin and coat support. So like I said, I pay $8 for a tiny bag off of Grove. This whole huge bag at Costco was $11.99. I gasped when I saw it and immediately added it to my cart. So if you have a Costco membership, these are fantastic, high quality dog treats. Also, I did another box of the grain-free mint flavored dog treats from Trader Joe's. My dogs love these and I like the mint because it does kind of freshen their breath a little bit. And then lastly at Costco, the Nature Nas. I have bought these before. They are all beef chews. There's 18 of them total in the package. You actually get six bully sticks, six jerky chews, and six tripe twists. $14.99, so a really good deal for the all beef treats. I decided to pick up this organic chunky guacamole packets. They're only 90 calories per packet. I'll put the points here on the screen. And I love avocados and guacamole, but I find myself not wanting to just make guacamole on a whim. So I thought that these would come in really handy and would lead me to eat more avocado slash guacamole, which is a really good healthy fat. Cauliflower gnocchi just to have in the freezer. We're all out. And this is one of our very favorite side dishes. And then I picked up the Joseph's pitas. This is for a dinner recipe and two packs of the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wraps, also for meal prep and a dinner recipe. I've decided I like these better than the Mission Carb Counter. They're less points and calories. I just really like the Olay ones. I also enjoy the La Tortilla Factory because they have excellent ingredients, but Walmart did not have them, so I went ahead and did two packs of the Olay. Lots of cheese, mild cheddar and Monterey Jack. This is for the seven layer dip. Organic mozzarella. This is one of my favorite cheeses from Trader Joe's. It is a great dupe for the light mozzarella that apparently is not coming back. This is only two points for a quarter of a cup. I will tell you it's a little bit pricey. It's $5 for this bag, but it's really good, creamy, organic mozzarella cheese. So if it's in your budget, highly recommend. You save about a point, and it really is just delicious cheese. And then, of course, no Trader Joe's trip goes without the light shredded three cheese blend. We are completely out. I used the last of it in dinner last night. A cute little baby. Isn't this cute? This cute little baby gallon of Dairy Gold buttermilk. I needed buttermilk for a recipe, and then I just honestly popped this in my freezer and leave it in there until I need it for another recipe. My husband works for Dairy Gold, so I always get excited when I see that on the label. And then of course, a big container of Fa A 0% yogurt. I need this for a couple of recipes. You guys know I prefer full fat dairy, except for when I'm cooking. I don't mind saving the points and calories and using a 0%. Troy asked for Special K with strawberries, so I picked him up the big family size box. I did the Dairy Gold Squeezy Sour Cream for the seven layer dip. I thought it would be kind of cute to have the squeezy pattern in the dip, so I picked that up at Walmart. Organic white corn tortilla chips. Of course, we need chips for our seven layer dip, and I love that Trader Joe's has so many great varieties of organic chips. I decided for a sweet treat this week, I'd make it simple and get these little mini Cleo bars in vanilla. Walmart is the only place I can find these, so whenever I go there, I like to stock up on my Cleo bars. A big box of egg whites. I get a lot of questions on why I choose to have one whole egg and then egg whites. It's because I like to save the calories with going with egg whites, but I like the flavor of having one full egg and I get a lot of protein for little calories when I back the one egg up with some egg whites. So that's really the reason that I buy them and we were completely, completely out of egg whites. Troy also asked for grapes for his lunches this next week. He must be on his own little health kick because he wanted apples, grapes, and cucumbers. So I picked up some grapes. Unfortunately, Costco did not have any organic grapes. So I probably won't eat these and I'll just make sure I wash them really good for him. Also at Costco I found this when I was filming my Costco video and of course we've eaten most of these so I had to pick another one up. If you have a Costco check your dairy section over by the sour creams and butters and see if they carry this good culture. So this is the full fat 4% whole milk cottage cheese. There are these cute little individual cups. They're four points and 140 calories but look at this 
19 grams of protein. So I love them. It's great to throw in a lunch too because they're individual little cups. So of course I had to pick up another box. I will forever buy this as long as my Costco carries it. And I also picked up these melatonin sleep gummies from Natural. These were on sale on coupon and these are for Troy mainly. He's been having a hard time sleeping and I think once he gets his probiotics like I have mine, it makes a huge difference in your sleep. But I did decide to go ahead and just pick these up and have them on hand for him. One of the appetizers for Super Bowl are these breaded mozzarella sticks. I love Trader Joe's for appetizers. They have such a wide variety. So I thought that I could throw these into my air fryer. There'll be five to six of us over for Super Bowl, so it'll be perfect. And then I also found these little Spezio di Pizza, Spezio di Pizza, anyway, little mini pizzas. Also thought I could pop those in my air fryer. I also saw the Brazilian style cheese bread. A uh, hello, how good does that sound? So I thought that this would be delicious. It says with tapioca flour and Parmesan cheese, thin crispy exterior with chewy cheesy center. So we're gonna be cheesed out between the cheese bread and the mozzarella sticks, but there is going to be a child or two, so that'll be perfect for them. Roy loves these lightly breaded fish sticks from Trader Joe's. He does not like fish, ironically, but he really likes these fish sticks, so while I was there, I picked those up. And last, for Super Bowl, I decided to get the mini beef tacos. They also have the mini chicken tacos, but Troy complains we eat so much chicken that I thought that I would just get the beef ones. They're the same calories as the chicken. And again, we'll pop them in our air fryer and they'll be a great appetizer. I also picked, restocked a six pack of the organic chicken stock from Costco. And then for Troy's lunch, because he was saying he's over his sweet things, I know. I couldn't believe it either. But I saw these at Walmart and thought I could give them a try for him. It's a Cheez-It snack mix. It looks kind of like a spin on the Chex Mix. So I picked those up. Hopefully he likes them. If not, they definitely work into my day. And then of course I picked up some more yogurts because this is a great way to get in protein. And I've been using these as a dessert topped with a little bit of purely Elizabeth granola or the Julian Bakery. And it's been just a really good way to get in protein, but also dessert. Everything else is produce. I didn't need a whole lot because like I said, I just got my Imperfect foods box, but I did need baby spinach for a recipe, a couple of organic Granny Smith apples, a red onion, and then I needed some frozen corn. And like I mentioned, Troy asked for cucumbers. So this three pack of organic English cucumbers is $6 at Costco. So I picked that up for him. So holy moly, that is a grocery haul. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Now I'm going to jump into what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. And of course, what I have on the list for my meal plan. Now let's jump into my meal plan and meal prep for the week. If you didn't see my video on Thursday, I launched my meal planner. I love this so much. It's absolutely everything that I wanted it to be. I spent a lot of time putting this together and I'm so, so incredibly excited. I will link my meal planner down below at the special introductory price. It is a meal planner good for an entire year and shipping is free. So definitely check that out. So let's jump into meal plan and meal prep. So this is what it looks like when you go to plan your meals. There's a section here called on the menu where you can put your dates and also plan your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, whatever it is that you plan along with the date here in the little circle. And then of course the detachable grocery list to take with you to the store. It is lined so it makes it very simple to write down all of your groceries and have your list actually look nice and not like chicken scratch. That's important to me. So this is the week of 2-6 through 2-12. Today is Saturday, we're gonna do an out to dinner or a pizza night. Sunday, we're gonna do pork chops with apples and potatoes. Sunday is also Super Bowl, so I'll be doing appetizers and things for the party and then make an actual hearty meal for dinner. Monday, I'm doing ground beef quesadillas and I'm so excited for this recipe. Tuesday's a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm doing Mexican skillet dinner. Also excited for this. Thursday, my husband's been asking for euros, so I found a really good chicken euro recipe. I can't wait for this. I love euros, but they're usually really high calorie, high point. So this one is going to be perfect. And then Friday, I always do a leftover night just because there's always enough leftovers from during the week to have on Friday. On the back, I plan my meal prep. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday for meal prep. First for breakfast, I'm making turkey sausage mini frittatas. I love frittatas. Lunch is a buffalo chicken wrap. I've been really into buffalo lately for some reason, so I'm making a buffalo chicken wrap. I may actually try the wrap TikTok hack. We'll have to see how that all plays out. And then dessert, I'm making a no-bake granola bar because I've been craving granola bars and I want a nice 
clean, healthy one. So you will see all three of these recipes on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another WW Grocery Haul, a massive WW Grocery Haul. I'm so excited for my recipes this week and for Super Bowl, and I'm glad that I was able to pick up some of the really good deals on coupon at Costco. So if you have a Costco in your area, definitely grab what's on coupon. They had some amazing, amazing deals. Don't forget to order your meal planner. It is linked down below at the special introductory price, as well as my nutrition coaching, macros and calories, and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there as well. So definitely don't forget about the description box before you go. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new, welcome, welcome, or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload. Don't forget Saturday is grocery haul day. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Happy Saturday. Enjoy your weekend, enjoy your Super Bowl, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.